today was a big day. You see, today is when the ice went out on the Jump River here in Sheldon. It's, it's the day that a lot of people look forward to. It, it's a way in which we just get to experience a piece of spring. It's a defining moment of saying winter is gone because the ice is just pushed out of the way. And when it's pushed out, it is a mighty act of power. The bridges shake from being bombarded by the big chunks of ice. In fact, you can hear cracks all throughout the night, pops going all throughout. And the other thing is, sometimes you can even feel the ground shaking next to the river. It's such an act of power. But the only way that it can move, the only way that the river's ice just starts to break up and starts to move is if one thing happens. The water gets dammed up or held back to the point where it starts to lift the ice up off of the sandbars, off of the little islands, off of the river banks, and gets it to a point in which now there starts to be some torsion and some forces that causes it to break up and it starts to carry it away. I'm wondering if there's something in your life that's starting to well up. You're holding something back. You're, you're waiting for something to happen, like the big water surge that happens. I've seen the ice go out and I've seen the water raise about four feet in 10 minutes. Just as it's the surge is pushing it out, what surge do you need in your life to make a change? I hope you consider Jesus because Jesus has this powerful surge of love and strength that he wants to fill your life with if you let him. He's willing to help carry away all that stuff that's holding you back, all that stuff that reminds you of cold and darkness, kind of like winter does for us, and to give you a new life where there's sun and the hope of leaves and green grass. But sometimes we have to be willing to let go. So this week, as we're reminded of spring and new life, I want you to realize that God wants to make a powerful surge in your life if you let him. Maybe it's time to let go and to let God make changes in your life. Hey, have a great week, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.